I'm Dr. George Flynn and I've got some information for you that I believe will be very helpful in dealing with this COVID-19 pandemic. We're always saying get your vaccination. Get your vaccination when it's your turn to get your vaccination. If it's one shot, take the one shot. If it's two shots, take the two shots. So that's the basic idea. But there was an article, and I'll read uh, part of it from the Daily Memphian, and Jane Roberts wrote the article. It's about a physician that passed away uh, recently from COVID-19. And it's a young orthopedic surgeon. Uh, he died Monday, February 8th, and it may be the nation's first case of an adult who died from a delayed immune response to COVID-19. He had received the vac vaccine. His name was Jay Barton Williams. He was 36. And the family has been magnanimous in wanting to get the message out. Because there have been many rumors and a lot of online chatter, <clears throat> a lot of opinions, and these are opinions of non-medical people who say that it's the vaccine. Now, I, as a physician, I have discussed in great detail with infectious disease experts from the Memphis area and from around the country. I've discussed this with internal medicine physicians, with nephrologists or kidney physicians, with neurologists. I've discussed this with family practitioners, with specialists from all over, especially the infectious disease specialists. And the thinking, the thinking is that the patient, Dr. Williams, who had COVID-19 at some time. We don't know when. He never tested positive for COVID-19 with the rapid, uh, you know, the PCR test or the rapid test. So he never tested positive. That's the nasal swab. He did test positive from the antibody test. That's a blood test. And it showed he had COVID-19 in the past. It's sometimes in the past. He also had the vaccine. The vaccine was about the second dose of the vaccine. It was a two-dose vaccine. The second dose was given about a month before he passed away. So how do we put all of this together? Well, first of all, there have been 33 million, over 33 million, doses of vaccine given. None have caused this. No, none of the patients have had this. There was a question about one patient, I think in Maine, that may have had something like this, but this is what's called a delayed immune response to COVID-19. It's seen in, in kids. And some of the uh, infants or kids that die, it's called MIS, uh, multi-system inflammatory syndrome. Uh, and it could, you can get it uh, within weeks or months after you have COVID. And what it is, is it's a severe delayed immune reaction that causes damages to the organs. It damages the kidneys, it, it stops, it damages everything, damages the blood. And you, you get a big immune response to the point that your body, the antibodies, your body is fighting the infection and the infection is gone, but then it starts attacking your own organs. So your body's immune system, thinking there's an infection still going on, starts attacking your body, all the organs. And this is this delayed immune response. It has nothing to do. Now let's, in, let's 
emphasize that. It has nothing to do with the COVID vaccine. It has all to do with having COVID-19 infection. We've seen it in kids, it's happened, but this is maybe the first case, in the U.S. at least, of an adult. He's an adult, he's 36, was 36 years old, and he had this reaction. And when it started cascading, uh, this cytokine storm, when it started, it was, seemed to be unstoppable. Every treatment that was known was utilized and it still did not save him. It is a tremendous loss for our community. Everybody that dies is a tremendous loss. This was a young guy just in the beginning of life, the beginning of practice, been through all kind of training, a brilliant hand surgeon, and he's not here anymore. It's just like everybody that passes away from COVID-19 has a story. It is a loss to the community. It is a loss to the families. It is a loss to society. It is a loss to everyone. It is a loss to the person. They don't get to live their full expected life. Okay, we know about the loss, but how can we stop this? And some people are saying, and especially the uh, people that are wary of the vaccine, and Dr. Uh, Stephen Threlkel says, this is not a good reason to not get the vaccine. This is a reason to get the vaccine because only the people that have had COVID-19 had this cytokine storm, have this multi-system immune response. This, only the people that have had COVID-19. Okay, here's the interesting part, is he never was, never was symptomatic. He never knew he had COVID-19. He had antibodies. He never tested positive. So he may have had it a month or two previously, had a very mild or asymptomatic, or that means no symptoms, didn't know he had it, yet he developed antibodies to it. And he never tested positive for the nasal swab. But he, would, he did test positive for the antibodies. He went ahead and had his COVID vaccine shot, <clears throat> had nothing to do with him developing this delayed immune response. This only happens in people who have had the actual disease, not people that have had the vaccination. So what we're saying is get the vaccine. That's the only way to control this, get the vaccine so we do not get the active disease COVID-19. That's the important message here. And the family wants this message to get out that we, we need to get the vaccine so that we prevent, we need to stop COVID, stop it for you. The vaccine will stop it for you and it'll stop it for the world. Because remember the, the, the repetition rate, the, the rate of going from person to person has got to stop. We've got to break the chain and below 1.0, the rep, you know, replication rate and transmission rate below 1.0 is great. We'd like to have it at zero where people don't have the disease. So this can be done. It, it can be done. What do we need to do? You've heard it many times. Social distancing, six feet. That's right, six feet. And that way anybody that might have be an asymptomatic carrier, you'll be further, far enough away. Masking, masking, wear a mask. And I'm not talking about a mask that comes down below your nose. 
That's called a half mask. And the way I tell patients, and it's pretty true, you get COVID through your nose. That's where it's transmitted. You breathe it in through your nose and you generally give it out through your mouth. So if you're half mask, you're inviting. You still have your respiratory system open to the air and you can get, you can catch COVID-19. The virus is very transmittable and we've got to cut that transmission rate down to below 1.0. So what are the answers? Social distancing, wear a mask, wash your hands. Don't cough on people because coughing spreads the droplets. And if you want to wear a face shield, even better. But remember, you have a, a tremendous part in this. Social distancing, wear a mask, wash your hands, get vaccinated. Those are all ways we can stop this. Now there's a, some kind of idea out there now about wearing two masks, you know, double masking. And supposedly that cuts the transmission rate down even more. So consider double masking. Now we're talking about double masking with surgical masks uh, or an N95 mask, you know, one of the ones that filters out very small particles and another mask. So you can have two masks, but uh, at least one mask. At least the mask covering your nose as well as your mouth. And at least six feet social distancing. Now when you've been around somebody and they, you know, you, you haven't done the elbow bump, when you've shaken hands, they may, you know, you may have virus on your hands. Keep your hands away from your face. Do not rub your eyes. Do not touch your mouth. The mucous membranes will allow the COVID-19 virus to transmit. So that is much less transmittable by touch, but it's still transmittable that way. It's primarily a respiratory transmission. And we wanna make sure you don't breathe in those respiratory droplets carrying the COVID-19 virus. We wanna keep you safe. We want to, we want to all, you know the rules now. I'll go over them again. Social distancing, six feet. Don't violate that. Wear a mask, wear mouth and nose. <clears throat> None of this mask below your nose. Okay, it may fog up your glasses, but COVID-19 is not something you want. You want to respect that virus. You do not want to be so fearful of it, but you want to do something about it. So mask, nose and mouth. And then get the vaccine. Make sure you get the vaccine. Typical hand washing and making sure that you are absolutely, get plenty of sleep. Get plenty of sleep. Take your multivitamins. You don't need to load up on certain vitamins, but take your multivitamins and they'll have some vitamin D in there and they'll have some, they'll probably have some zinc in there but take your multivitamins and just take care of your general health. Eat right, exercise properly, and make sure that you're taking care of you because when everyone takes care of themselves and does the social distancing, the masking, and getting the vaccine, we can stop this COVID dead in its tracks. I'm Dr. George Flynn, and I really appreciate you listening to this and taking it in. Share it with somebody. Share these rules with somebody because they need to know about it. If they are not following it, we cannot break this cycle. Everyone needs to cooperate on this. And I, depending on you, I know you can do it. And I know we can show the United States how to break the COVID-19 virus cycle. I'm Dr. George Flynn. Thank you for watching. See you next time.